This is a silicon wafer that's undergoing quality control. The silicon in these wafers comes from sand, and as the sand is processed, there are a number of quality control steps. These QC steps are important since we need high quality silicon to make things like solar cells and the chips found in nearly every electronic device, like your smartphone. Today, we'll be using the Invinio FTIR spectrometer for one of these QC steps, checking the interstitial oxygen and carbon content. The first thing we need to do is take a measurement of some reference silicon we know the composition of. And now we're ready to do the QC on this silicon wafer. We'll use the MAP IR accessory to collect the IR data. We can specify how many data points we need, and then the MAP IR will load the sample and we can begin the scan. The MAP IR will automatically move the wafer between testing points in accordance with ASTM F951-02. The IR data for each measurement point is automatically stored for evaluation, which we can perform after all the data has been collected. We have that data here now, and we can see the differences between the sample wafer and the reference. We'll determine the carbon and oxygen content now using a dedicated function of OPUS. First, we load the reference into the method, then add the sample measurements we just made. We'll enter the thickness of the reference and sample next, which should be similar to get the best results. There are different standardized methods for this type of analysis, like ASTM and DIN, which can be selected here. And then we can start the analysis. When the analysis is done, Opus will give us a nice display of the results. It looks like this wafer has a carbon oxygen content that's within the specification. Now we went through the measurement and evaluation of this one wafer, but most of the time it's more efficient to measure many wafers back to back and do all the evaluation at once later. Bruker has other instruments that are useful for silicon quality control, like the SI Brick Scan, which analyzes the oxygen content of silicon ingots. The CryoSAS can do improved carbon oxygen content analysis, as well as look for shallow impurities on a parts per trillion scale. And for the highest sensitivity measurements, we have photoluminescent setups, which are perfect for analyzing electronics grade silicon. But that covers everything for this video. We'll see you in the next one.